towards the end of the last session that I worked on this piece, I kind of came to the conclusion that all of the areas need to be filled with sequins. So I think that's what I'm going to work on today. I went a little off piste in this middle section and I think that that came across quite interesting because most of them I filled towards the centre with the extra depth but this one I staggered it upwards which I think has come across quite cool. Hopefully that's focusing. So yeah, I think it's really got some interesting elements to it, this piece, and it is nice to see the sequins functioning in a way that they're not dependent on the colour. That's what I was really hoping to work out with this piece, was how much visual information I could communicate with just the one colour and just working on the texture, the size and the direction. The Pearl Pearl has been pushed back a lot by the sequins, but that's okay. You know, I'm sure I can pick up more gold work elements in another future piece. But for now, it's just focusing on getting lots and lots of silver in here, I think. And those are the final stitches in. So with the piece complete, having a little look at it, I think it's really sparkly, like surprisingly so, which, you know, it's always gotta be a good thing, right? Overall, I'd say it's probably not my favorite piece that I've ever created, but I definitely think it's thrown up some really interesting questions and answered some things that I wanted to find out about working with this style and technique. The flow of the sequins is definitely something you can create and harness. So doing them all in one color really has helped with that. And I'm hoping that with this knowledge, I can take it forward into the next piece because I really do feel like this piece is more of a stepping stone on the way to something more considered overall than it is a standalone piece.